Okay, you're familiar with the six minutes that you have? Six minutes? You have six minutes for the pitching? Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay, your six minutes starts now. So, uh, let me start off with a question. Have you ever fell in love? You remember the special moments? Hmm. The first time you held hands? When you went to a nice restaurant? Went to the ball game to root and cheer for your favorite team together? Or maybe you guys remember your wedding, your wedding, or your first baby. Relationships have so many memories. However, how do you keep and share these memories? And how do you actually communicate in the smartphone world? People these days communicate and share memories in fragmented methods. They use various messaging, messaging apps to communicate, and they use open, specialized, and private social networking services to actually share and keep their memories. So days, months, years pass, where all the memory go. It's very hard to track. Good afternoon, my name is Edward Lee, and I am here to introduce you to Between, which will solve this issue. Between is a private online space for couples so that they can communicate and share their memories with their significant other. We're currently live on iOS and Android, and we support many, many languages that pretty much covers all the digital world. I'd like to go over a demo. The first feature we have is the chatting function. It's a daily routine chat. Uh, we have various emoticons because it's in a relationship that is very emotional. You can also have voice messages and photos sent to your significant other. The second feature is the photo album. If you see the flags, they're automatically arranged by dates. And if you go on a date, you'll be able to leave messages like this. You can also bookmark your favorites and export them outside the application. And our third feature would be the customized memo board. It's more and more longer and emotional messages like love letters. You can also bookmark these, and all these bookmarks are archived in the memory box in the home screen, and it's shown in its beautiful format like this. And our fourth feature would be the anniversary reminder, so you don't forget your special days anymore. <laughs> Lastly, we just launched our event box, which is a channel for us and other businesses to communicate with our users, and I will be going over this sooner in our business model. So, as we launched our open beta late November last year, we've been operating for six months, and we had some awesome results. First, we had 900,000 downloads in six months, 4.9 million messages are going back and forth every single day, and 350,000 photos are unloaded onto the album each day. And our users stay on our service for, more, for 10 minutes on average which means it's a very sticky service. So with this sticky service, how are we going to make money? We categorize into three parts, freemium, commerce, and advertising. So freemium, our app is free, so we'll be adding premium functions like animated emoticons or our video messages. Second, for the commerce, we'll be uh, sharing mobile coupons like sending a latte to your girlfriend or physical goods, printing photo books. Lastly, for advertising, we're, we're going to be using the event box that I showed in the demo as a channel for businesses to promote their products and services to our users. So we actually wanted to test how effective our advertising channel could be, the event box could be. So we operated our own, our own event. It was called Delivering Happiness. So we delivered 100 um, between boxes to 100 couples throughout the world. The between box was consisted of cosmetics and various surprises by sponsored by um, some big names like LG Healthcare and some even landed on into Singapore. The results for this event were astonishing. We had 22,000 more fans on Facebook, 8,000 followers more on Twitter, and the total number of participants added up to 35,000. And we analyzed this data to see how many people we could potentially reach through this event. The results, 
were more than 4 million people in two weeks. So, with this sticky service and this awesome channel, we would like to go global to other continents and countries to expand our user base and operate. So if you are interested in going global with us, along with our current investor, SoftBank, and our current business partner, Samsung and LG Healthcare, please do not hesitate to contact us. And if you're in love, it's between. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for time. And now you have six minutes, judges. Your six minutes starts now. I'm going to start. <laughs> you married? No, I have a girlfriend. <laughs> so, who are you targeting? Married couples or all kinds of couples? So, our most target, like our focus, are in the 20s and 30s. So, it's um, in the um, it's couples, unmarried couples, and early married couples will be our most focused um, target. I like your, your power strategy. Uh, I mean, there's, there's a lot of different things. You But again, it's on, on the target, because it, I mean, dating couples have a way of behaving. Mm -hmm. As everybody knows here, married couple mm -hmm. have another way of behaving. Mm -hmm. and, and so there, this, there's a different uh, approach to how you target those people, the, the services you offer, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, what, what's the first target market that you're that you're going to attack? I mean, you have, uh, you're you developing partnerships. Mm -hmm. What's the first target market that's you know it's going to be your, your sort of low hanging fruit where you're going to establish the, the, the platform, etc., and then they need it then expand it. So if you make uh, for that question, I would answer uh, the unmarried couples. So um, basically, what we are trying to do is there's many transactions um, when you're uh, communicating with their, um, your significant other, or if you are. Um, like keeping, um, keeping your memories. There are many transactions that can um, um, be made there. And as you um, have a big influence and get, get into marriage, that's a very big transaction over there. So in between that transaction, I think that's a model that um, we can target. So um, it would be mostly focused on um, before marriage. However, um, our current usage demographics show that 20% um, of our users are married, are married couples. And um, most of them are early um, married, like just married couples, which that they have babies that are one or, one or two years old. And they use our service in a different way, where um, just um, unmarried couples would take pictures of them dining. They pick, um, share photos on the photo albums of their babies, of um, like she just wants or something. You have 900,000 downloads, so how many active users do you have? So 900,000 downloads. Um, so we have percentage-wide monthly active users. Uh, we have around um, 60 to 70 percent. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, 60 percent. Uh, I want to use uh, your service. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, uh, as you mentioned, uh, there are uh, some competitors like uh, Lime, Kakaoto, mm -hmm. and Energy. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think uh, the KFS of your company? Okay, um, I can get a slide for that. Uh, so, uh, what, we, what we've seen in many patterns of user, users, um, they use Kakaotalk or WhatsApp or Line uh, with their friends. However, um, they use a different messaging app um, for their significant other because they needed a hotline to their partner. They didn't want to um, search all the list through. And also, um, these are just messaging apps. However, uh, we support a photo album and a customized member work, which is also focused on um, memories. And we have that all integrated into one, so I think it has an advantage on over those messaging apps. Is it possible to talk over the app? Huh? Voice conversation? Oh, uh, we currently do not support VOIP right now at this moment, but we can send voice messages. Do you allow multiple connections? Uh, many people ask about that. It's just like email. Um, if you have multiple email accounts, then you can make multiple between IDs. Um, which will can, uh, connect to. <laughs> However, we try to not um, not have that um, relationship. <laughs> so you have a breakup scenario. <laughs> <laughs> See.
say if you, there's A and B, they're a happy couple. If B wants to break up with A, then B will not be able to see anything. And A will only be able to see his contents. And we give them a one month grace period if they get back together. <laughs> Restore all the data. If you don't get back together, believe it. <laughs> if only all breakups were that easy, right? <laughs> um, what do you find, uh, or uh, most of your users that you have, mm -hmm. what was their primary mode of communication before they switched to your service? Where are you getting most of your users from? Um, well, most of our users based are in Asia right now. 75% um, in South Korea, 78% um, in Japan, 78% in China. Actually, that much service. So are you taking people from Twitter, from Facebook, from Well, um, I think we're taking it from all sorts of social networking services and messaging apps um, because I think there was a need for privacy and intimacy. So um, I think um, they want to share more photos um, without screening them. Um, and um, I think would be, the answer would be like all, all social networking services. It might be worth looking into because that, that can drive your marketing for acquisition as mm -hmm. you try to build it. Right. Do you have really good security? Yeah, we're, uh, actually our uh, technical staff is very uh, sensitive of, about that matter, and um, uh, we encrypt our data, and uh, yeah, um, the technical stuff, I, I think, um, is very solid. our startup pitches. Alright, for now, can we please get our judges to go to backstage and we'll start to tabulate our scores. Okay, and for right now, I have some uh, announcements to make. Okay, can we have all 10 teams together by the side of the stage? Okay, and uh, very shortly, we'll be having our announcement for the winner of the startup marketplace. Okay, so our 10 teams are, first thing we have Rajik from Taiwan. Click E from Indonesia, Buick from Thailand, Perks from Singapore, Snapdish from Japan, Yumi from USA, Drop My Email from Singapore, Beat Robo from Japan, Payroll Hero from Philippines, and Between from South Korea. Alright, all 10 teams, please gather by the side of the stage, okay, to get ready for the prize presentation. And also, um, all teams will receive $2,000 worth of credits from Amazon Web Services for their efforts, okay? So that's, that is, if you will win the top prize, it's okay, you will have $2,000 worth of credits. Okay, and also all attendees, so all of you right here, will also receive $50 worth of credits from Amazon Web Services, okay? And you'll be receiving an email in a week uh, to claim your $50 credits. Okay, and also uh, here's a reminder that we'll be having an after party at Youth at the Odeon Towers. Okay, the party will start at 8 p.m. till late. Okay, so do join us for that. Um, it's a great chance for networking, great chance to meet new people and new friends or to, you know, just go have a drink after such a long day of conference, right? And also, okay, uh, just now you have visited the, the lounge area, right, the chill up area. We have the bean bags from Duke. Okay, tomorrow the bean bags will be going on at fifty percent off. Okay, so if you want to enjoy this offer for the fifty percent off of the Duke bean bags, okay, just take a picture of you and the bean bag. Okay, sitting on the bean bag or just posing with the bean bag. Okay, and post it to Facebook and just tag either E twenty seven or Duke. You'll be able to enjoy this offer. Okay, so we'll be right back, okay, and uh, don't go anywhere. The result will be announced shortly. <laughs>